Chris Pritchard here talking about my idea, which will have some of you thinking, that's a good idea, and some of you thinking, no, we can't do that. But hopefully you'll have an open mind and say, you know, that might be what I want. So our club, BTSE Toastmasters, is going to have a sort of new format. We're going to meet regularly online, and we're going to meet virtually via YouTube videos on a chat or in a group. Right now we're using a Facebook group, but we might use a chat. And how that would work is you would write a speech, record it, edit it, upload it, and then post the link on our group for our group to watch. And then the various members of the group from around the world would watch your video and they would write an evaluation, record an evaluation, upload it, and post the link. Or they could just give you a small message about how you could improve. It's up to them, it's up to you how you want to make this work. My goal here is one, to get used to making videos online, to get used to editing videos. So I'm gonna edit part of this video later and to get used to uploading them and understanding how the entire YouTube process works. And the speech will not be a one and done speech. You would go ahead and do it, and once you got improvement offered by the various evaluators, if you wanted to keep that speech as part of your repertoire, as part of your YouTube channel, your library, you could do that, or you could replace it. Or you could replace it again. It's really up to you. And we're not limited to the club meetings for doing a speech. I've got several speeches I would like to give on certain topics. And I could give them, but it was a limited audience. 10 people could see it. Versus by getting your message out through YouTube, uh, you have the ability to not only get the message out, but to understand how the entire YouTube world works. So I'm here at the library in a particularly quiet room. And because I didn't bring my, my device, I can't stand up. So my hands are here. I don't like the way my hands are, but I don't like this either. So you would learn the different aspects of how to make a good video. So I'll re remake this video later in a different way and you'll see it. So this is my call to action to you. If you would like to, one, to be part of a club and see, don't put your hands in front of your face. I was told that the last time I did a video. Don't put your hands in front of your face when making a video. So if you'd like to, one, develop YouTube skills. Two, work on projects whenever you want to. Not be stuck into the actual club uh, calendar. So you can work on a speech now and put it out. Three, do a speech that will be part of your library. That will be part of the message you want to give out. And four, have the freedom of time zones. You can work when you want to. You can really become an expert. This is not a lifetime commitment. The idea of this is to join the club, learn the things and skills you want to, if you like it, if you like the idea of attending our meetings, or you like the idea of attending virtually online, whatever works for you. The sky's the limit. And remember, the Toastmaster is all about you, what you want to get out of it. So if you want to get out of it being a better YouTuber, being a better uh, editor, writing speeches and, and evaluating them and getting them to be the, the material you want, this might be the club for you. So send me a PM and I'll send you the link to our club. And if you're interested, I'm looking for some people who are really go-getters and think this is a great idea. Consider it a 24-7 Toastmaster club that occasionally meets live.